Okay, so... I didn't really have any clever ideas for this. I have heard of fluid ratios recently from the total from total eclipses video about fluid mechanics there's a guy who developed the entire or mapped out the entire system of how fluid is split through junctions and i don't actually know how that all works as far as i know it just splits evenly and the other aspect is valves do not release its full set uh, limits unless the pipe is full. It's like ratio to ratio. If it's at 90% out of 300, so like 280, I don't know. Uh, the valve, if it's set to 30, will only put out 28. I don't know about all that. If there is a clever way to split up the ratio of fluid like there is with factor split arrays and use that in com combination with valves as the equivalent to uh, controlled flow with belts, that would be interesting. But I don't know about that right now. Whoop. I just know this is the simp simplest design I could come up with. I just threw it together real quick. It's four fuel generators in a 5x5 five five square packed together as tightly as possible. The power goes down the middle. The support goes up the middle. The pipe goes into the roof and down. And I just chose to cover the top. I don't know. You could probably put belts on it or something. It's not really anything that event inventive. You could honestly just have a row of fuel generators and that'd be fine if you can actually ratio the water specifically without having to just uh gravity feed your uh valves i mean valves are a lot simpler but ratioing out your fluid so the exact same amount goes to all your machines at once that would be amazing it'd probably take up a lot of room Belts, belts are kind of easier by comparison, I imagine. Fluids do have the advantage of working with gravity. So there can be some interesting tricks you can pull with overflow valves. But I honestly don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. For now, I just want to get this out of the way and focus on trying to make an array uh a production array or engine for the nuclear fuel rod uh plant nuclear plant so if there's a way to actually ratio fluid i will have to come back to that because that could affect a lot of my fluid builds it wouldn't just be the items that I can split up perfectly. It'd be the fluids. But I don't know if I have the room to do that. I don't know. You can't mix fluids. Items you can mix. Fluids you can't. Would it mean I'd have to build more subfloors? Possibly. I mean, a bunch of these have a lot of room to work with. For most recipes when it comes to pipes so it doesn't take up a lot of room for the pipes it may be possible to do it all on one layer with the things like the mixer the packager it's a rather small space if you're a ratio if you're going to do something like ratioing out your fluids at least for the nitrogen packager uh, nitrogen packaging uh, recipe since it takes like 1200 fluid to feed 10 machines other than that the refineries have well the refineries are kind of in the way 
since I snuck it through the uh, smokestack. So that would have to be redesigned to have another uh, uh, the pipes go higher up above the uh, the exhaust. It's gonna be less compact. That's a shame. The coal power should be fine. I mean, going higher isn't going to make any more room. And there's plenty of room here. I just... How would you go about ratioing it? My first thought is to literally try and recreate... Uh, the 1 to 5 factor split just with pipes and valves as mer in place of mergers. Even if I don't limit the valves. If I don't limit the valves, it just pushes the fluid to the right and to the left. I can split that into three, merge one back in. Would that work? <sighs> I don't know. The fact that valves are the most useful at limiting how much fluid goes into a system and yet it needs full uh, fluid movement like 300 per minute or 600 per minute in order to actually release the set amount out the other end. I just don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I've been mulling on for the past five minutes. Any, anyways, I'll see you when I see you. Thanks for stopping by.